Hey everyone, it's Beth here. I am with something very important and it's another support video for a certain someone that I think you all know by now. I'm doing another support video for Akalia Life. For some of you who don't know who she is, Akalia has a, ha, is a gotcha tuber and she has her own YouTube channel. And if you want to know more about her, you will have to go to her channel to find out more about her yourself. But you can also hear something about but you can also hear some things about her as well from me on my channel since I made support videos for her of what she went through before. But this is something a bit different. She is live doing a live stream right now and for some of you don't know or for some of you who do know she has a new boyfriend who is now her fiance and they were planning their wedding but I mean but she's now live streaming about it about her wedding and she was explaining how her wedding is canceled and there was a reason for it and after hearing some of it, I was just as mad as she was because it involved with her twin sister. And she cut ties, I mean, and she cut her family off for this reason that I will try to get into detail. <clears throat> In Akalia's live stream she was, she's making today, she's explaining how it involved her twin sister mentioning about her fans and bringing her fans into the problem and making them and making her fans look like they were the bad guys. Now, <clears throat> she was explaining how when she had moved when she when she moved to Florida, her twin sister and her boyfriend needed some money for some resources that she knew that Akalia knew how to give. And every time she would give them money, well, mostly her boy, her twin sister's boyfriend, it was mostly her twin sister's boyfriend needing some money. Every time she gave them money, they wouldn't pay her back. Not a single cent. She, and she was in debt for all the money that she gave to her twin sister and her twin sister's boyfriend. And for some of you who don't know, she just Akalia just lost her father. Her father passed away in a car crash that I think you will have to hear from her. It's a painful subject for her to bring up, but if you want to hear more about it, you'll have to hear it from her on her side of the story. I am just saying this, I'm only saying all of this in my point of view for her support, I mean, to give her support because she needs it. But for some of you who don't know, her father just passed away. Honestly, I think not that long ago, might be just a couple months ago, but it wasn't that long ago. She just lost her dad and she's been going through a lot and so was her mom and all of them, and Akalia's mom was being paid back of all the money that mostly her dad would, would have made. But they were, I guess, as she would, I think, she, as she put it, they were going in debt. But I could be, I could be wrong with my speech, but, but anyway, every time Akalia would give her twin sister and her twin sister's boyfriend money, they wouldn't pay her back. So she was in debt. And now, in her live stream, she was explaining how her sister was saying, her twin sister was saying mean things about her fans and bringing them into it. And even bringing up her ex Boy, her ex, her ex. 
trying to turn all of it around and blaming her for all of it. Now, if a call, if Akalia sees this, I'm sorry if I mess up on some of my speech, but I think I'm kind of right about this. But, but she cut off her family entirely, especially her twin sister. I mean, who does that? Who tries to turn their own fans against someone? like that especially bringing up especially bringing up people who used to be in our lives that caused a traumatic experience for us that we don't want to bring up and trying to turn it against us that is that is very wrong on so many levels And if, and like I said, if Akalia hears this, just know, Akalia, I know exactly how you feel. Me and my mom do. Because for some of you who know and for some of you who don't know, my grandpa, my grandpa has cancer. And he's been sick in bed. He's a bit better. He's getting better, but he still has cancer. So he's been still going to his appointments. But the reason why I say that I know how Akalia feels is because I have a brother who... <sighs> there's a lot of problems with my brother. I have two brothers, but one of them who lives with my grandpa. Here's the thing. I don't believe I told you all about this because this, I think, is kind of personal, but I did tell some of you that my grandpa had cancer. But there is something about my oldest brother that you should know. Ever since my grandpa had cancer, and Akalia, you're going to be really mad about this when you hear this. My, my oldest brother took all of his money from his old account. Now, my grandpa is trying his darnest. He created a new account where my oldest brother doesn't know. And he's trying his best to save up money as he could. But it's been a struggle. And on top of that, my brother decides to put my aunt into this. And try to get her money as well even though she has a staph infection that she's been trying to get rid of from her foot, and now they're planning on amputating her, her leg. And not only that, they're thinking of taking one of her eyes out as well. They're thinking of it. We're still trying to get the results. I'm not going to go into full detail, but... But Akalia, I know how you feel because my brother because my brother took all of my grandpa's money from his old account. So I know exactly how you feel, Akalia. And I I just think I just think it's wrong, you know. Cause it's just like me and it's just like my mom used to say. You shouldn't hustle your own family, your own flesh and blood. You should never do that. You should never hustle your own family like that. That is wrong, terribly wrong. So Akalia, I, I hope everything gets better for you. And it's like I said before, I'm sorry over the loss of your own father. I know how it feels to lose someone in your family. Me and my family lost a couple, and now my grandpa has cancer, and my mom is deeply worried. But he is, he is trying to get better. He's doing a little bit more better than he was before. At first, when he had cancer, everything has just been going downhill, but it's slowly going uphill, but we are just not sure. 
but... But, Akalia, I hope everything gets better if you do hear this. Honestly, Akalia, if you are hearing this, I don't... I really don't... I really don't like what your twin sister did. You should never... T you should never turn things around like that. It's just wrong. It's just flat out wrong. There's a saying. There's a saying that I... I, I kind of want to say it might sound harsh, but because it's because what's worse than a sister who is loyal to another to another sister is is a narcissist in full denial and trying to turn things around and blaming on a sibling. Who didn't do anything wrong. Like, seriously. She's not the only one who's got problems here. Akalia just went through so many traumatic experiences that involved with her ex. And now, and she also had to deep, and, and she also had to gr grieve over her father's death. She's already got enough on her plate. She doesn't need to deal with her own twin sister blaming her and and bringing and bringing her fans into this like they had something to do with it. Cuz you cuz you guys know me. I would never turn any of you against me like that. Cuz you guys are family to me. Akalia does the same thing with her fans. She would never treat them that badly. So it's wrong for her sis for her twin sister to do that for to her fans. This is just I guess I'm just being a little short with this. I don't want to go into all of it because Akalia is still trying to explain the whole thing. So if you want to know the full th the full story, then go to Akalia's channel and and listen to her live stream she's making today, and you will know all the full details. But for now, this is just a tiny support video, and Akalia, if you're hearing this, I'm sorry you're going through this, but I do support you, and I hope things get better. And Akalia... Because, Akalia, you have a bright future ahead of you. You're a great person, and you're a very kind and generous young woman who deserves much better than this. It's just, it's not, fa it's not fair for you to be treated that way when you've been through so much and you don't deserve this, and all of it has never been your fault. Even if there were times where you blamed yourself, that doesn't mean all of that situations, that doesn't mean you were the victim. You weren't the one who made all those situations happen. So, Akalia, I hope things get better for you. And don't ever blame yourself for any of the situations you dealt with. It's never your fault. But I do hope things do get better in life for you. Because, like I said, you don't deserve this. And I am glad that you... And I'm glad that you, do, that you did the right thing. Because I'm just like you. I take a lot of things a lot seriously. I don't joke around with things. Not that I can't have fun with my life once in a while, but sometimes there are stuff that need to be taken seriously. You know, with all of this stuff going on, it's hard for us to try to maintain our... It's hard to maintain our... You know, it's hard to maintain our lifestyle like this. With everything going on, it's hard to be financially stable it's hard to find a house these days. It's hard to find a nice, comfortable home to live in without dealing with so much drama. It's very hard. 
And I know that because me and my family have been dealing with a lot for years now. I know I have, my moms have. I mean, not moms, but I mean, my mom had, my mom has, especially my mom and some of my other family members. And I get it. Life is stressful, very stressful nowadays. Even if it's been getting better than it used to be, it's still just, it's still just stressful. But we all try to, we all try to just suck it up. Because it's just how it is nowadays. Even if life is cruel, we just have to suck it up and just have to deal with it. And I think we'll I think we'll all get over some of the drama just fine. I think I think we've all changed for the better than I think we all changed for the better and I think we're all much different than how we are. I mean than how we used to be. I feel like we all can move on on a more on a more healthier level than before. I feel like we won't give up. I know we will all stay strong as much as we can. And I hope we all do. So Akalia, if you ever hear this, stay strong, girl. And always remember that you're not alone. And that I hope this support, as the rest of my support videos reach out to you. Since I know you saw some of them. So if you see this one too, like I said, you have my full support and I do think, and I do agree with you. It's wrong for your twin sister to do this, such a thing. I don't know why she would do this, but whatever the reason is, I know we'll, I know we'll be able to hear it from your side of the story. So yeah, this is a short support video for Akalia Life. If you want to if you want to see what she does, then go to her channel and give all the support she needs right now. She desperately needs it. And just like and subscribe to her channel. And and just give her all the love. She needs all the love she can get. She's been through a lot just as much as we all did. I mean, just as much as we all are. So go and support her and support her fiance, Josh. Even he has a channel. And if you want to see what he does, then go and like and subscribe to him. And yeah, that's all for today's video. Like and subscribe and comment. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye, guys.